Hi guys and welcome to your June 2020. It's gonna be the what are they telling you for the beautiful sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Hi, Sag. Well, you didn't like that switch up. Guess you wasn't ready for it. If you're new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. If you're subscribed to the tribe, Al, what's good, fam bams? Hello to my members. One card companion readings will be uploaded. Um, the one that is below is the first through the sixth. Um, I experienced the uh, power outage last night. Um, so I had started reading and uploading the videos that were scheduled to be uploaded yesterday. And right at the Gemini video, the power went out and had remained out for about six hours. So I am up now, <laughs> but uh, it's been a rough morning um but you are my last and beautifully while i was waiting on scorpio to upload this was your pre-energy pre-shuffle energy so i am going to keep this ace of cups right here in the heart of the matter and we are working hard that is what they're not telling you this is what's going on at the top of the deck energy um they are trying to work hard to bridge the gap between you and them they're in love with you uh sagittarius so I'm on rising in Venus and I'm in love with you and I want to tell you I'm glad that you're here but now we're face to face in the candlelight I don't know where Ashanti came from what I want to be like those girls in the movies to fall in love with a man and make them drop to his knees. Is that what she say? He's even on his mind. Because mm -mm. that's the feeling you've given me. Hey, they want to be like those girls in the movies, Sagittarius. Like those girls in the movies. Drop to his knees. On his mind, asleep at night. Yeah, that's the feeling, baby. Musical tarot is here. Get over it. Listen, I am operating on like four hours of sleep. Let me be great. Let me be great, okay? <laughs> let's straighten you up a little bit. Let's let's do it now. Let's straighten you up. Okay. Well, this is a brand new beginning in love. This is what's being desired in the heart, okay? I'm hoping that when I get through these cards, Sagittarius, that this new beginning is going to be good and that they don't change their mind. We're going to say I had to give Leo the same little disclosure. You wasn't ready for that switch up last week because I got tired. Sagittarius always get bad energy into that. Don't blame that on me. What I mean, what, what do you want? I saw the Ace of Cups. I'm like, that's it. I was shuffling, waiting, because it takes forever to upload. So, while I was waiting in my normal pre-shuffle, I was like, okay. Brand new beginning in love. Let's go ahead and shuffle around it. Okay? One card companions will be uploaded. Okay? That's what we're going to do. If you're connecting with Capricorn, Libra, and Taurus, their videos are up for your viewing pleasure and their extensions are uploaded for purchase. All right, they're in love you. They're in love with you, now what? Uh-huh, well, in the heart of the matter, they're in love with you, there's a big fat tower. What did I just say? You see what I'm talking about? <sighs> Sagittarius. Endings bring beginnings. Something needed to come to an end. Oh my God. Eight of Cups. I'm confused. I'd stack those cups up and walk away. Anything that is built upon a shaky foundation will come crashing down because the foundation was not firm to begin with. Um, so, yes, there is a new beginning desired in the heart, but will they act upon that? We do have six of cups. This is a past returning. This is also soulmate energy. I'm going to clarify that with the sacred soulmate. And we have justice. All right. Is that justice of the peace? What type of justice are we talking about? Um, top of the deck, unfortunately, is the Seven of Cups. And we also have the Eight of Pentacles, um, the top of the heart matter. So the top of the heart matter is talking about making money. Um, 
that also resonates in commitment because it is pentacle related. Um, so I don't necessarily see third party yet, but I do see someone examining their options right now. Underneath my seven of cups is the four of swords. And just for shits and giggles, underneath that four of swords is another ace of cups. So there is a double ace of cups here. So I'm going to say that in the very, very near energy, in the near future, um, there is going to be, I mean, resting, quietly preparing, trying to figure out what they want to do right now. Um, but, you know, examining the options, understanding that those options represented in that seven of cups are not all viable. Okay. Let's find out what this is all about, spirit. Let's go in with these Romance Angel Oracle cards. I'm liking it so far. It doesn't necessarily mean it's bad, obviously. Um, a reconciliation is required. Oh, hold on. A reconciliation is required. This is an old soulmate, someone that has remained in your life for a while, someone that has made you happy, could be contacting you and hitting you up. Well, this can be a renewal in the, within the same relationship that you have in mind. We have two. This is true love. Thank God for some new energy. And it's a divine connection. And we also have new beginnings. I love it. Letting go, change, time to move forward, risk, and opportunity. So this, um, I do feel like, syner sy synergistic. This is your energetic match. Two birds sing sweeter than one at the top of the day. So, good, good stuff so far. I like it, okay? Clarify my tower. So, yes, naturally some things had to come to an end, but now we are moving in a forgiving and learning type of energy, releasing and healing the past to experience more love in your current moments. I like it, okay? I like it, and I feel like we're crooked. I like that, okay? Is that right? Yeah, that looks a little better. Yeah, I want. I like my crown to be like underneath my logo. I don't know who she is, by the way. I don't know whether that's me. I'm on on Halloween. Though, I'm gonna wear my wig. I'm gonna go get me a wig cut just like that. <laughs> You're like whatever, Marv. <sighs> Wedding. The situation involves marriage. You deserve love in the heart of the matter. True love which also was the exact same thing that just came out for my Six of Cups. I like this, um, Sag, and keep an open mind is my Justice card. Um, the top of the deck is separation. So you guys are not together right now, but they're keeping an open mind and an open heart that you guys can get together. And maybe you made some plans that you wanted to get married Maybe you talked about it. They're keeping an open mind and an open heart because they really do want this. So I'm liking it so far. We're going to keep it completely clean. Um, I don't see the end. I'm sorry. I see the end, but I don't see what brought you guys to the separation point. So I feel like... Um, that's behind you now. I do see that Sagittarius, they think that you're a little delusional because the, the, the energy in the seven of cups is you knowing damn well that those options are not viable, but you, they feel like you have to do it anyway. You could explore your options with others when you should have been actually focusing on the wedding. I do feel them, them, you know, kind of saying this is part of the problem. But that old energy is being cleared out, and I like that. Now, my Eight of Cups is, this isn't a real, um, there are things that took place between you guys that you guys are definitely putting behind you. But the separation is temporary. The wedding is off due to the separation. But it's an eight of cups type of breakup. So you simply just stack those cups up and moved away because these are cycles that you're experiencing. 
and just had to go and do some four of swords on your own, which is quietly preparing. And you're quietly preparing how you're going to reconcile and reapproach this ace of cups that's in the heart. And I do feel like because it's here twice that you guys are in love with one another. Okay. Um, this subconscious has come out again. Um, you know, I'm going to go ahead and go in with something else. Um, the good thing is, is the subconscious thoughts are very positive. Um, all about new love and beginnings and how the relationship will be a success, which I'm happy about. So we're going to move past that. Clarify my true love. This is a divine connection. Divine feminine and masculine energy is here. Sagittarius. We do have chords. Okay. So yes. Oh, and yes. Wow. So yes, yes, and more yes. So this is, you guys are energetically bound, a soul cord, a soul tie. Um, and again, this is, um, you're going to go into your new beginnings. I, I like this. I like this very much for you guys because it's always some type of crazy energy. Clarify justice and keep an open mind, please. And we do have expecting. Okay, what just tried to pop out was unseen, um, healing, okay, you're keeping an open mind about that, top of the deck is throat chakra, there obviously could have been some throat chakra um, blockages, and when we go there, it's clearing old things as well, as far as things that have been spoken, okay, I like it, we gonna end it good. I like it. So again, you guys are going to be speaking right now. Time apart was needed with you guys. So that is a good thing, but I do see a lot of new beginnings in love. I love this for you guys so much. I love it when it's not drama, um, but there are two Ace of Cups, two Ace of Cups. So this is a divine connection. It's divine. It's a true love, divine connection. True love. This is a divine connection is what I'm going to call it. That card right there. You need to watch it. Okay. You need to watch it. I like this for you guys. Though That tower represents forgiving and learning and clearing old bad communication and opening up that throat chakra so you guys can talk to one another. Okay. I love it. I love it for you, Sagittarius. Congratulations. We do have no. I want you to approach these answer cards. Show me, spirit, from a subconscious standpoint, because it's remained positive. We also have there's something better. And then the top of the deck is improving health. We are going to go in for a, a two out of three. Okay. So we got a little bit of time. I don't want to do you guys that way. You being my last video. Um, and Leo beat you. So you dropped naturally, which upset me. Helpful people for some of you guys. Show me what are the answers for this connection. Perfect timing for others of you. We have. Show me spirit for Sagittarius and their partners. Show me. And we have not the right time. And the top is reconsider. Last pull. Last pull. Thank you, spirit. Universe, spirit, angels, and my guys. Let's get the answers for Sagittarius and their cross watcher. Ah, Sagittarius and their cross watcher. Show me, spirit, please. What do we have? The first one is remain positive. So well, you got that twice out of three times. The second is no need to worry. That's the first time you guys have gotten that. Show me spirit. Show me what just tried to pop up. Recovery. Beautiful. And within the next few weeks. So you take it as it resonates, but I think the overall thing that for the all three, so I don't know which one of those answer pools 
um, you resonate with. But one thing is for sure, you guys are being told to remain positive. So like, share, and subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. Um, thank you for being patient with me and allowing me to bring you these uh, messages week to week and allowing, um, thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to be the vessel to be able to do that. Guys, we experienced that power outage and I am beat but it is breakfast time because now I have to go and meditate and get my mind right for my clients. So everybody is happy, okay? Thank you for allowing me to get through that. Beautiful new beginnings. Um, I am going to name this true love. This is a divine connection. And, um, and show you both of these cards one last time as your final in image. I love it. Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. Thank you so much, Sagittarius. I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.